Welcome to the CRC Evans training video featuring the M300C external pipe welding system. The CRC Evans M300C weighs 51 pounds or 23.2 kilograms. The wire spool weighs 10 pounds or 4.5 kilograms. The oscillation rate ranges from 0 to 250 beats per minute. The wire feed speed ranges from 100 to 625 inches per minute or 2.56 to 16 meters per minute. Travel speed ranges from 4 to 60 inches per minute or 0.1 to 1.52 meters per minute. The required power for the M300C is 24 volts DC and the M300C can operate in a temperature range of negative 40 degrees Celsius to positive 70 degrees Celsius. The M300C weld system includes a single head external welder with a PDA programmable CPU and an onboard wire feed. It comes with a power supply, positive and negative service leads, interface kit, and a junction box 24 volt power supply. Everything you need to rig up and begin welding is right here. The only items not included are gas and wire. Starting with the power supply, attach the negative and positive weld leads. The service lead to the junction box. Attach the gas lines. And the interface between the Miller power supply and the junction box. At the bug, attach the positive lead the gas line and service lead from the junction box 24 volt power supply to the M300C. Program the onboard CPU with the PDA. Attach the PDA and navigate to the correct weld parameters. Then download them into the CPU on the bug. The CRC technician will set the control panel to change weld passes when you select the up or down button. Install a 10 pound spool of wire into the onboard wire feeder. Insert the wire into the wire guide. Continue to feed wire until it comes in contact with the wire drive wheel. Press the wire feed button to feed wire through the tip. To change a tip, loosen the side plate latch and allow the bug to swing open. Remove the gas cup and loosen the tip collar. Remove the tip and replace it with a new one. Snug the collar back down and replace the gas cup. Close the bug and tighten the side plate latch. That's it. You've just installed the M300C external pipe welding system. 
Now let's take a look at how to operate it. The M300C circumnavigates the pipe on a CRC Evans pipe band. To attach the M300C to the band, to grip the, band. the bug by its handle. Grip the bug. Place one leg under the bug for support and close the rear or free rolling latch, ensuring the band is inserted in the bottom groove. Then close the travel wheel latch. This will lock the bug on the band in any position. The operator will use the vertical adjust to adjust the tip to work distance. and the horizontal adjust to keep the arc in the center of the bevel. Located next to the horizontal adjust is the emergency stop. The operator ceases welding operations by pressing it. Prior to welding, a CRC Evans technician will check the bug for correct travel and wire feed speeds. Put the bug into calibration mode by turning off the M300C, then pressing the function button and turning the bug back on. Use the up or down button to select test travel. Press the stop enter button to enter your selection. Press the stop enter button again and the bug will travel for 15 seconds. When the bug stops, measure from the line on the pipe to the torch tip. Multiply by 4. This gives you your travel speed in inches per minute. To check the wire feed speed, loosen the side plate latch and allow the bug to swing open. Feed 2 inches of wire and bend at a 90 degree angle at the tip. Put the bug into calibration mode. Press the up or down button to select test wire. Press the stop enter button to enter. With test wire selected, press stop enter again and the bug will feed wire for six seconds. Measure the distance from the tip to the bend in the wire. Multiply by 10 and this gives you your current wire feed speed. Once the checks are successful, the M300C is ready to weld. Let's take a look at the onboard CPU before we get started. This is the onboard CPU control panel. The operator will utilize these buttons to operate the M300C system. With the control panel, the operator is able to control a variety of actions. By pressing the appropriate button, the operator is able to travel the bug, oscillate the torch, feed wire, test the contact in the power supply, purge gas. The up or down button will allow you to scroll through the weld passes that you downloaded from your PDA. Use the speed pot to slow down or speed up while welding. Widen or narrow the oscillation Start and stop the weld process. The travel speed and wire feed checks are good. And we're familiar with the control panel. So it's time to look at a typical weld cycle.
The bug is in place, and the service lead is hooked up. The wire is ready to feed. The weld parameters have been programmed into the CPU via the PDA. All that remains is the operator to begin welding. With the ground attached and the M300C at the 12 o'clock position, the operator first presses the cycle arc start button to pre-purge the gas, close the contactor, and initiate wire feed. Once the puddle is established, the operator presses cycle arc start again to initiate travel. While welding, the operator can adjust the vertical tip to work distance by using the vertical adjust. The operator will keep the arc in the center of the bevel by using the horizontal adjust and moving the torch side to side. When making the final fill and cap passes, the operator can use the speed pot to vary the travel speed and deposit the correct amount of metal into the bevel. Once the M300C reaches the end of the weld pass, the operator presses the e-stop button, which ceases all operations according to the software parameters. To review, at the power supply, connect the negative and positive weld leads. Gas lines, and junction box 24 volt power supply. On the bug, connect the positive weld lead, gas line, and junction box 24 volt communication cable. Program the onboard CPU with the PDA. Attach the bug to the band. Install a 10 pound spool of wire into the onboard wire feeder. Be sure there's a ground. Press cycle arc start on the control panel to pre-purge gas, close the contactor, and initiate wire feed. Once the puddle is established, press cycle arc start again to initiate travel. During the weld cycle, use the vertical adjust to keep the desired tip to work distance, and use the horizontal adjust to keep the arc in the center of the bevel. At the end of the weld pass, press the e-stop to cease all operations. You just saw how to rig up and operate the M300C external pipe welding system. With the system correctly installed and maintained, the M300C will deliver quality welds time and again until completion of the job. Thanks again for your interest in the CRC Evans M300C. See you on the spread and remember, watch your eyes. Weld safe.